So when it comes to dealing with a completely disconnected haircut, there are some things you gotta take in consideration. All right, stay with me, stay with me. We're gonna make this nice and quick, I think. So we have Jacoby. Aquí tenemos a Jacoby. For the longest time, Jacoby was rocking braids. Maybe not the longest time, but he was rocking it. So Jacoby walks in, no braids this time. Okay, Jacoby, where are the braids? What are we doing, buddy? He doesn't want to keep that length anymore. Okay, all right, okay, okay. So you think to yourself, you think to yourself, what are we doing? ¿Qué vamos a hacer aquí? Háblame. ¿Qué tú quieres? Maybe we should have grown it out a little bit more on the sides, but you know what? You're already here. So let's do something. Let's, let's work together. Let's talk a little bit. So we get to talking, you know, and, and when it comes to talking, guys, I hope you understand, we, we gotta find some middle, middle ground, you know. You, as the professional, have to, uh... But let me, let me ask you something, Jacoby. Let me ask you something. Is all this hair annoying you a little bit? See, <laughs> Jacoby, I got a few ideas. Let me ask you this, though. You wanna go ahead and take care of that beard, too? See, bye bye. I got, I got it. I see it. Okay, mi gente, we have to take a look at what's going on right here. Look, you gotta, you gotta feel before you cut. Feel the length. Que esta pasando aquí? Look, he has a whole complete fro disconnected from the sides. So I wanna stretch it out. We're gonna grab that pick. I have that long pick. I don't know if there's a right term for that. I'm messing up already here on explaining this to you, but I got the long one. Pause. But after I do what I do, which is, you know, picking it out, and make sure you put some, mm, make sure you put some, some force. You gotta put some force into picking the hair out and don't hold back. See, sometimes when you go ahead and start picking somebody's hair out that isn't yours, you kinda, you kinda hold back. You don't wanna hold back. You wanna stretch that hair out. Now, my buddy JP on the previous video, he went ahead and used uh, uh, some, some water, some spritz and, and blow dried the hair out and then shaped it up, but that's not what we're doing here. He still likes rocking the curls. So we're just gonna pick it out and leave it in its natural state after you pick it out. You don't wanna stretch the hair out too much because after you shape it up, it shrinks. So there's a side to that video you didn't see, but that it wasn't about the haircut. It's not about me right now. It's about Jacoby, okay? Este, so I grabbed my masters, which by the way, I put a new blade on the masters and I haven't been able to zero gap it like how it will set on this video. This video is a little, it's a tad bit old, but to this day, I haven't been able to do it. It's a little frustrating trying to set these freaking masters. Hit up freaking Andes and ask him why in the hell would anybody make a clipper that at the time was worth $300, $300, and I can't even zero gap them. Okay, mira, aquí, right here, we're getting better. We've, we've been carving away, and although, Jacoby, Jacoby, I still think you should have grown it out around the ridge just to keep it a little darker. Uh, we're, we're, we're getting progress, we're getting progress, but we got, I gotta make sure I keep this comb, this, this wide tooth comb in my hand, and I'm bringing it down, bringing that hair down, fluffing it out a little bit more, so I'm not taking too much out, but still enough to make it blend into the top. Okay, and then after that, you know, number two guard with the comb though, not a brush, not a brush. Don't you dare pick up a brush right now because it's not gonna do much at all. J hits finna drop the base. You see this right here? You see this? I'm gonna un poquito de estas cosas aquí. You know, they sound like they could mess you up, right? But believe it or not, they're a little bit dull in certain parts. Like around right here, they're a little bit dull. Kind of sucks. But I like the idea of bigger shears for this type of work. They're really effective. I like it. But what I hate is that there's 
so far, based on what I know, there's no reputable company that makes real good shears. Now, mira, if you do know a reputable company that makes 10 inch shears, for example, I got a problem with you right now because you haven't told me. I thought we were cool. Que paso? I thought we, we been cool. Look, we made it to 100K. What happened? You didn't tell me. If you know something, you're supposed to tell me, look, I'm telling you a lot. What about me? Let me know. Let me know in the comments below. If you know a company, a reputable company that makes some good damn shit. No, look, I'm not gonna get too much into it, but you, you catch my drift. Okay, you catch my drift. And as far as Jacoby, even though these are a little dull in certain parts, I went ahead and used them either way because I like using these. I might even one day buy the curved ones, okay? But for now, I'm using these. I'm not breaking the bank. One day I will, but that's not today. Jacoby, we're here. We made it. Not to the end, but to your face, to your beard. Look, based on what, you know, we spoke on real quick, didn't have to include it, but we spoke on it. You didn't want to take too much off. You want to keep it full. I completely understand that. Pero tu sabes que, Jacoby, this was a while back. Looking at the footage now, I would have done a few things differently. I wouldn't have focused on shaping it like I am right now. I'm shaping it right now. I would have left it for later. You know why? I'll tell you why in a second. Not yet. Just stay with me. I absolutely would have went ahead and started cleaning up under your beard real quick. It just it just would have been easier. It just would have been easier. You know why? Because when you when you stretch the beard out, now to me, to me, it's in the way of, of seeing what's down here, what you gotta clear out. I wanna, I wanna, I wanna clear it out first, then pick it out, then line it up under the beard. But even after I clean it up, I still probably wouldn't have done it that way. I, I wouldn't I wouldn't have picked it out because I'm using the hot towel on you. So I'm picking it out, I'm shaping it. I'm putting a hot towel on you, now shrinking it up again, and now I'm gonna have to pick it out again and shape it up again. And then by doing that, I'm kind of cutting it shorter than I should have. Too much, too much, too much, too much. Finna drop the phone Now ladies and gentlemen This is where you gotta appreciate A person like Jacoby And all the clients that have let me Not only record them but be willing to try or add a different technique to what I already have been doing. Look, look, keep this between you and me, look. I, uh, you know, when I try something new, I don't shy away from making mistakes and I don't shy away from letting you know about those mistakes, okay? So understand that um, 
you know, when I was telling Jacoby, look, mira, este, I want to try doing this, uh, this, this hot towel thing, okay? And Jacoby, just stay with me, okay? Look, mira, este, we're gonna put a little bit of barbasol. You, you, you never had barbasol on your face. Look, eh, I think it's gonna work out, okay? I think it's gonna give it a nice little crispy edge up. And um, let's go ahead and try it, man. You know, it's gonna feel good. You ever had a hot towel on your face? No! Psh, bro, tienes que tratarlo. You have to try it. Let's do it, yeah? So, guys, when you sell something to somebody and, and they're already cool with you, it's a pretty good, it's a pretty easy way in. Tu sabe? Um, but um, if you haven't really practiced it enough, you might, there's, there's some room for error. I'm not saying it should happen, but it's gonna happen. And um, the error on this one is it, it, that it got messy. I already mentioned it. Just stay with me. Um, and I, looking back at this, it, it maybe would have preferred to use shave gel on the face and would have left the barbersaw for the forehead, you know, for the lineup. But you, once again, live and you learn. Just understand, the amount of barbersaw that I used on his face was a bit much. And I don't ever see myself ever after this specific experience using that much ever again. I hope you understand. J hits finna drop the face. All right, Jacoby. We got the face done. What time is it? It's almost that time to be done with the service. I think this is looking phenomenal. This is not really how I say it, but you know, I'm just giving you guys a few examples of how to how to make a client feel even better as the service proceeds as it goes on, huh? Huh? Este, pero you know, sometimes in life, guys, boys and bo boys and girls, sometimes in life, if you don't check up with your client if what they have the length let's just talk about length if if the length that they have after you have chopped it down is exactly what they want sometimes in life as you get close to being done they're gonna come back and say this can we go a little shorter mm. Woo. okay tu sabe que I could do that for you. Give me a second. Hey, um, I, I, I'm gonna be right with you. I just gotta go a little bit short. It's my fault. It's not his. It's my fault because I should have. I should have kept up with him. So I hope you got nothing to do because I gotta. I gotta do this real quick. I'll be right with you, sir. I don't say that aggressively, but you get what I'm saying, right? Check up with your client throughout the service to make sure that's what they want. Even bring out the bring out the mirror. Get it nice and close. I don't, I'm, I'm actually pretty bad with that. I, I've been doing it. I've been doing it more and more recently, but I, I didn't do it with Jacoby. And that's who we're focusing on today, Jacoby. So let's go and uh, shorten it up a little bit more, huh? So I don't know if it was exactly a Joshua P class that I learned this, but and it wasn't even this texture of hair. Oh, shout out to Joshua P, by the way. And he mentioned that he would style the hair before he would line it up. And if it was that class, that stuck with me for any texture of hair. Because imagine this, you go ahead and edge your client up. huh? And this is before you go ahead and bring that sponge out. You don't think that edge is gonna move? Hmm? You don't think that lineup is gonna shift. The moment you bring that sponge out, you don't think that's gonna move? Hmm? Oh, it's gonna move. I don't care how nice and tight you got it. It's gonna move. So I'm gonna need you to take in consideration. Tu sabes que a lo mejor 
yo debo arreglarle el pelo primero y después puedo alinear pero si no lo haces así papá vas a tener que hacer más y tú no quieres hacer eso tú no quieres trabajar doble tú quieres trabajar Jokobi, este, llegó el momento. Tú llegaste a la barbería mirándote así. You had some challenges that made me feel like, you know, it, the outcome could have been better if you didn't have those challenges. Let's just say, Jokobi. But it doesn't matter because at the end of the day, I knew you were gonna look better. And brother, you look like, look at how you look. Así calao. Así calao. Na pa calao. Así calao.